Hello everybody, welcome to Kai, Mr. Red 2. Welcome back to the episode of Assetto Courses. So we're back here in Bahrain at the Bahrain International Circuit. Of course, where just over a week ago, the first round of the 2021 Formula 1, uh, Formula 1 season took place. Now, uh, as I said in the last episode, I actually got over here uh, the Formula Hybrid 2021 from Race Sim Studio. Uh with a Red Bull skin on, as I am once again going to try to beat the pole time, uh, or at least see how close I can get to it. And of course, I've got the Red Bull colours on, because of course, uh, Max Verstappen was the person who got the uh, who got pole position during that first round. Uh, it was a one twenty eight point nine nine seven, and of course, Lewis was uh, about. Four tenths back, and then Valtteri and the two tenths back behind Lewis or something. So, yeah, I'm going to give myself I don't know about half an hour to see how close I can get to that time set by Max Verstappen. But before we get into it, I have been checking the statistics of these videos, and about 70% of you guys haven't yet clicked that subscribe button. So be sure to click it. One whilst you're down there, be sure to like the video. So let's get right into it. So there you go, in with the first lap, I made a couple of mistakes on that lap actually, and to be less than 10 seconds away is definitely quite nice. Uh, of course I am going to have to give myself at least one lap to kind of cool down and kind of re uh, recharge the battery, because of course we've got the MG UK over here, so we've got to kind of recharge that. Uh, but a bit more about the Grand Prix I guess, the fastest lap was set by Valtteri Bottas with a 132 point 090 on lap 56 uh, so yeah I'm pretty sure he came in because he had like a, like about 40 seconds of the car behind maybe not as maybe not that much but definitely in, well, enough time to pit safely to set the fastest lap and of course get that one extra point uh, for that the podium of course Lewis from Max who was seven tenths behind and then Valtteri Bottas, who was 37 seconds behind. Of course, he would have been about 17 seconds behind if it wasn't for the pit stop, maybe a bit closer. But yeah, still quite a, quite far back. So yeah, the Red Bull RB16B, of course, this season, uh, it, it's only started. So we've only got like one Grand Prix to kind of base the stats off. But you know, one pole position, one podium. So... Uh, it definitely looks like they are going to be able to challenge Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton this season. So there you go, second lap complete over there. And we've actually got a 145.7, so already a one and a half second uh, kind of decrease, I guess, in the lap time, which is good. That is what we are looking for. So already on a 135, I'm pretty sure that is what we got. In the end, with the uh, with the McLaren MP4 20, I think it was last week. So we're already at that level. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get right up to that 128.997 that uh, Max Verstappen got. But uh, we, I am going to be using this car for the whole 24, well, 23 race calendar. So we're definitely going to. I'm definitely going to get used to this car, and maybe. Uh, closer to the end or maybe in the middle I'm going to be able to get really close to the, lap, to the qualifying laps or maybe even, I don't know, maybe even go faster. So not the best lap time over there, kind of messed up at turn 10 and as, that is definitely where I'm going to have to uh, kind of focus the most on and try and get uh, through there as quickly and as, uh, well, as quickly as possible and without losing any time because I did definitely lose the car there quite massively and that is definitely why uh, yeah, we are so far off. So I guess now you can have a look at how this car looks looks like going around the Bahrain International Circuit.
So there you go, that was a really, really good lap, a 133.683, so that was just over two seconds faster than my previous best, uh, and we are getting quite close to Max Verstappen's time, well we are still quite, uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit away from that 128.997 or whatever it is, uh, but yeah, four seconds, about four seconds now, uh, so... Yeah, that lap probably looked quite nice from the outside. I kind of messed up in turn 10s. Turn 10s? In turn 10 again, and a bit, uh, a little bit more, a uh, couple corners later. But let's keep on going and try to see if we can get any closer. So there you go, one tenth improvement over there. That actually could have been probably like a second and a tenth, but I kind of messed up in the last corner, so... I just gotta keep avoid. Uh, I just need to keep uh, kind of avoiding those kind of little mistakes in those couple corners, and we are definitely going to be able at least to get down to a one thirty-two, if not even uh, even less. Okay, so another bad lap over there. I'm probably gonna give myself maybe one, maybe two, maybe even three more laps. But yeah, uh, gonna give myself just a couple more laps and see how close we can get to Max Verstappen's pole time from the 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. So there you go, the tiniest bit of improvement over there. Uh, but still definitely not anywhere close. But I still definitely uh, have at least a second to gain because I was a second up until turn 10 again. Because I literally just can't get around it. Maybe it's the setup I know, but... Uh, Maybe it's just me not being able to control the car because, uh, yeah, just can't get around that corner with any decent speed uh, like they do in the races. But yeah, I'm going to give myself maybe one more go. Of course, I'm going to need a cooldown lap kind of to gain back the energy uh, to kind of be able to deploy all of it on the last lap. But yeah, let's let's see how well I do in my last lap. Okay, so change of plans. Uh, one more lap as... Uh, it was really going well until it kind of didn't, and I was uh, about a second and a half up, I think. Maybe not that much, but I guess we'll see how close we can get on this final lap. Of course, I need to charge up my batteries once again. And I'm sorry if the video is kind of laggy in some place, I think. Uh, OBS just kind of changed some of my settings, I think, uh, when I turned it on. So it might not look as good, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to sort that out for next episode, but yeah. I'm going to quickly charge up and go out for one final push. So there you go, four tenths up. It wasn't the second, second and a half that I hoped for. Uh, but we still definitely did quite good, to be honest. Uh, of course, half an hour isn't that much time. Uh, maybe a bit more than half an hour, but uh, still isn't that much time to kind of get used to a new car that you've never driven before. Because I uh, only just kind of checked that this mod works, like... Uh, last week, or maybe not even last week, but yeah, I just checked if it works, it worked. Uh, and I went in today for the first time actually driving this car at full speed around the circuit. And, uh, uh, well, even compared to Formula 1 uh, 2020, uh, of course it's different. Uh, it's probably even different from the 2020, uh, 2020 uh, Formula Hybrid by Race Sim Studio, because of course the cut. Uh, back at the uh, cut floor at the back so uh, in the end we did a 133 oh just over a 133 so uh, about uh, I don't know four four seconds away from uh, Max Verstappen's time so definitely not the worst I definitely still could have made that uh, gone a bit faster maybe at least a second second and a half as I said uh, but I think that would have been it uh, for like the short short run, I definitely would have had to have even more time if I want to kind of get above that. Uh, but I guess that is what we are going to try and do throughout the season. Try and beat the pole time. And hopefully, uh, sooner rather than later, we are actually going to beat it. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.